So one of the first things that I would suggest doing if you have the G90 particularly is that you want to tune it to an AM uh, radio station, uh, especially if you've got the most recent firmware update. Uh, you forget what it is, but with that update, um, they've changed the filter settings. So what we're going to do here is we're going to tune to an AM radio station, which is at the low end or high end, however you see it. Uh, AM 1070, I think, is our local AM radio station. So I'm just going to tune the radio. And you can see here the SWR reading for the bandwidth. Uh, and what the G90 will do is it will tune for the frequency that you're currently set at. And so what you really want to do is tune to the middle of the band that you want to uh, be using and tune it. And so what this is going to do is it's, and you can see here that I'm increasing the range of bandwidth, BW. And so that you can see that it gets narrower and that just shows you where the SWR is low and you want it as low as possible and it should be at one or in between one and two. That requires having a good ground and a good antenna set up. Um, and so here we're going to go to uh, preset. Stand by. Okay, so this is the local sports radio channel. And what I'm going to do is modify the filters, the low and high filters. You can, you can hear the sound changing, right? So it's cutting out the, uh, the bandwidth noise. So what you're looking at here is the signal, carrier signal. So what you're looking at here, right here in the middle, is the carrier signal. And you have the upper side and the lower side of the band. So upper side band, lower side band, and carrier equals amplitude modulation or AM, right? In most cases, when we're doing voice on HF, we're using upper sideband or lower sideband. But for the sake of this filtering tutorial, we're just using both filters on AM to get a sense of how those filters work. Okay, RF gain is essentially how much of the carrier signal are you bringing in? It's kind of like the volume for the noise background. It allows you to hear more signal uh, and weak signals, but it also adds to the noise floor. Okay, so we're moving on. Here we can adjust the power. It has no consequence on receiving, but when you're transmitting, you want to set your power. All right, so next we're going to go over WinLink. And according to the winlink.org website, where you will download the application and set up your registration, which I'm not going to go over here, but you will need to do, uh, the system is built, operated, and administered entirely by licensed HAM volunteers. It supports email with attachments, position reporting, weather and information bulletins, and is well known for its role in interoperable emergency and disaster relief communication. It is capable of operating completely without the internet, automatically using smart network radio relays. Licensed WinLink operators slash stations use both amateur radio and government radio frequencies worldwide. Support for the system is provided by the Amateur Radio Safety Foundation Incorporated, a US nonprofit public benefit entity. So, uh, WinLink uses a digital modem called VARA HF to relay the digital messages to and from the radio and onto repeaters located throughout the world. The process is as follows. First thing that you'll need to do is configure the, the mic input output. And this is through the control panel sound settings. So 
when you open the control panel for the sound settings there you'll have to set the system as the default and then you select the incoming mic from your radio and select a default communication device you have to do this for both the input and output next go to properties and you can change the name of those mics so that it's something that is easily remembered i've named mine digirig um, but you can name it whatever you want it's just for your purposes next go to the levels tab and ensure that the levels are within a reasonable setting this is where you're going to have to modify the the settings if you're on windows 10. Uh, the same goes with the digital mic uh, set a recording option and this is actually the the one that matters because this is what the uh, what Winlink is going to use to trigger the signal so um, again you're going in changing the name and changing the settings and this is just going to take some experimentation but it's the recording mic level that will really affect the VU or audio input. Okay, so once you have that set um, on Windows 11, if you just go to the sound settings, you can actually slide those options in real time rather than having to go through the control panel. Uh, so when you're doing the tuning and if you're on Windows 11, you can actually make that uh, much easier this digital uh, mic input is going to be directly related to your uh, RF gain or they're sort of the same thing it's just that the computer controls it on a general level first need to make sure that your radio is set up and can generate a clean signal involves uh, modifying the RF gain and filters, making sure that you've got a good ground, and setting up your antenna properly.